Okay. So we activate this. We pay four life. We pay one. We sack that. And this. And we're making a bajillion tokens. Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we have a Mardu Mill deck. Now, most people would be very confused as to how this could possibly work or how it could possibly happen, and only people with a specific set of skills can do such a thing. Our main two cards are going to be Rise of the Dark Realms and Mizzix Mastery. We're going to cast Rise of the Dark Realms from the graveyard with Mizzix Mastery, but of course we have to have all of our other necessary creatures in the graveyard in order to get everything done. So let's just start from the top. Rise of the Dark Realms is a nine mana sorcery. Again, we really don't care about the mana value here, but it puts all creatures from all graveyards onto the battlefield under our control. And then the creatures that we are going to be putting back from our graveyard are going to be Atali, Primal Conqueror, Mondrak, Glory Dominus, and Radabrick of Urborg. Those three creatures. Mainly it. We do also have Crucius in there, but that's mostly for the discard and draw. But it can still be there. Now, Atali is a 7-7 legendary with Trample, and when it enters the battlefield, we exile cards from the top of each of our libraries until we exile a non-land card. Then, we may cast either or both of those spells without paying their mana cost. And this is what our mill plan is. We're essentially going to do this over and over and over again until they have no more cards to exile, and then we're going to pass the turn, they draw their card for turn, and then they lose. Now, of course, you might be asking me, how do you do this? You're only gonna have like four Atalis. People have more than four non-land cards. And I get where you're coming from, but that's where Radabrick comes into play. So Radabrick is a four mana three, three with the ability of whenever another legendary creature you control dies, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary. This is where we care a lot about everything that's going on because all of the creatures we're using are legendaries. So if they die, they just come back as a token and the end of the battlefield effect happens again. So in this instance, Atali, Atali dies, bring it back. We get the ETB trigger again. But once again, people are going to have more than eight non-land cards in their deck. So it's not really going to help us that much. And that's where the Dominus comes into play. So Mondrak is a four mana four four that has the ability of if one or more tokens were to be created under your control, twice that many tokens are created instead. This is exactly why Radabrick is so good because whenever a legendary creature dies, you make a token of it. But with Mondrak out, you're gonna make two tokens of it. This is beautiful. So when Atali dies, we make two more Atalis. They are two twos and stuff like that, but we don't care about that again because it's on a mill plan. But once again, if we only have four Atalis and they're only gonna make two each, people have more than 12 non-land cards in their deck. So we're not quite there, right? So it also has an ability of pay one colorless and two Frexian white, which is either three mana or one colorless mana and four life and you sacrifice two other artifacts and or creatures, and then you put an indestructible counter on it. Now, this is technically our sacrifice outlet. Our sacrifice outlet is great because we definitely need to sacrifice our Atali in order to make the triggers. Now, this is also good because if we get another Mondrak, either in our graveyard when we're bringing everything back from Rise of the Dark Realms, or if we get a Mondrak from the top deck when we're casting everything from Atali, that means we get a ton of tokens of Mondrak and all of those triggers of Mondrak stack. So then when one of our Atalis dies, we're gonna make like 30 Atalis or 40 Atalis or 50 Atalis. We're gonna make so many Atalis that we're literally gonna cast every single card from their deck and our deck, we're gonna be completely milled out. But we're never going to draw a card at that point. We're just going to pass the turn and say, okay, here we go. And then they draw a card and then they lose. 
So that's the kind of mill deck it is. It's not your traditional mill deck. It is definitely weird, but it's super fun when it goes off. And it goes off pretty regularly. As long as you're not going against heavy graveyard exile, you're probably fine. But the majority of the deck is really just drawing cards and then putting the cards in our graveyard. So as long as we can cycle through our deck, which we can pretty easily because that's basically half of our deck that does exactly that, all we need to do is find our Mizzix Mastery. It's just that four mana sorcery, cast it, target the Dark Realms, bring everything back, and we should win. So obviously you can win on turn four optimistically, but usually it takes around to turn six, maybe seven, maybe eight. It really kind of depends on the situation, but anywhere between turn four and eight, it's pretty, it's pretty consistent. I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of the Twitch subs and YouTube members. There's been a huge influx of support lately and our team really does appreciate it. And if you would like to get your name immortalized in each one of these videos like these people here, then find out how you can do that and what other benefits you get by hitting that join button down below. Now, this deck is a deck that I would recommend building just because of how fun it is. You're able to crash the game, so if you don't have that kind of patience and you don't want to lose your rating, maybe not play it, but it is a really fun deck to play, and just to be able to mill in Mardu is always something fun to say. If you did want to build this deck, it's going to set you back 31 rares and 12 mythics. So it is kind of expensive, but if you play a lot of my decks, most likely you have a lot of these cards already. So again, I would recommend building it. But you can get the deck list by clicking at that card that pops out at the top right hand corner of this video. It'll take you over to Aether Hub and it has all my old deck lists as well as any deck list I upload in the future. If you want the text-based version, you can click on that description and get all of that there. But the best thing you could do for the channel is to share the video with somebody who you think might enjoy them. We would appreciate it, but at the same time, all you gotta do is tap that like button, attack that sub button, stay salty, and enjoy the games. I mean, sometimes you just get hard countered. It happens. It happens. Megan Pasta. Aguila Oleo? Too lazy to make it. I don't even know what the f*** that is. Sounds delicious. Post picks. Did you get a preview card, c -Fav? I thought you did. You did, right? Garlic and oil pasta. I mean, it could be good. Mm. We're getting there. I do need a land again now, though. I am doing this. It's super, super aggro. I should just kill that. But I needed lands. I needed the lands I did not get. Greater. So we have Mondrak. Do we have everything we need? We have Urbrag, Atali, two Mondraks, Rise.
should we risk it for we're doing it we're doing it now no. we'll do it live don't care That was not correct. <sighs> Easy token cap. It's not supposed to be a token cap on that. I have to sacrifice all of these treasures. We're doing it at end of turn. It doesn't matter. Hey, yo. Dude. They need a faster way to do this. How do we get 240? Because we had a bajillion Mondrak tokens. And then when we cruciased. I, it wasn't supposed to go to end of turn. Is the problem. <sighs> yeah, that's why I have to f sack them all. Because I'm supposed to make a bajillion Atali tokens. To mill them out. At least it's getting faster because we have less tokens. <sighs> BRB, you're gonna put your pasta in the microwave? Alright. What's up, Gerard? I mean, it's gonna get there eventually. I promise it'll be worth it. I promise. Why are you sacking the wall? Because we are at the token limit. And we can't be at the token limit. In order to do this properly. We have to sacrifice a Tali, which we will, because Mondrak allows us to sacrifice artifacts and or creatures. So we're going to make a bajillion Atali creatures and mill them. Except, we're doing it on our turn. It's insane that Arena doesn't have a shortcut. I agree, Arch. I agree. All right. Sixty nine. Nice. Nice. And now they're forced to draw with Toski because I'm just not going to block. And so they have to draw. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so 12 head right now.
Mardu Mill, baby. Mardu Mill. Somebody makes the Toski in 11.11. That'd be hilarious. All right, we got 38 more on the stack. <laughs> What's up, Flow ID? Thank you. The deck is hilarious. <laughs> winner, winner. Chicken dinner, exactly. Oh no. We have an opponent's names channel in the Discord. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna thrilling discovery. Love these janks, thank you, Darp. <laughs> the Atali Mill. Ooh, I don't, I can't do it on turn two though. How sad. Whatever, I can bid a reunion and then do it. Or Crucius. Nah, I get that out of here. Am I missing something? I need a... Yes, I need a ratter brick. Discard that. Lesser. Not bad. Hopefully they just don't kill me, question mark. Does it reanimate too? Yeah. But if I don't get my rata break, I'm dead, basically. Maybe. All right. Oh, nice. Rise. Arise. That one. That one. Wait, wait, I wasn't done playing your deck. <laughs> but wait, I wasn't done playing your deck. I'm hyped for the spoiler. Hi, pipe, pipe. This is my first spoiler card. Congratulations! <laughs>
Should I kill that? Or should I go for the memes? We're going for the memes. We'll kill that, though. Okay, so I need a Mondrak. I need a Mondrak off of this Faithless Looting. And we can win. Come on, baby. Not a Mondrak. Not a Mondrak. Not a Mondrak. We can still do okay with this. We can still do okay with this. It's it's not going to be nearly as cool, but it'll work. <gasps> we have our Mondrak. We have our Mondrak. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Discard up to two cards. We're still going to be able to get it. Okay, so we activate this. We pay four life, we pay one, we sack that and this, and we're making a bajillion tokens. Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't done making all of my tokens, but my tokens, but all my tokens, but my tokens, opponent, my tokens, opponent, all my tokens, put my tokens. I was so happy for my tokens. Wait, I wasn't done milling you yet. Look at I had a Mondrak trigger and a Radabrak trigger still. We're gonna make we're gonna make so many more. <laughs> Lol <laughs> still dies to Doomblade. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Such a good vine. Wait, what vine? Yeah, I'm a little... What? The thing is, is that they don't know much about me, apparently. They're learning. Again? It's wild.
With this deck, having to mulligan and go first is so bad. It's so bad for us because we have a lot less cards in our hand. Oh, we didn't get a land. Um, okay, we got a Mondrak. We should technically win next turn ish, I think. Sucking over there on that hookah, yep. All right. I don't have a land, but another rise. Another rise does work. I think we're good, actually. What is this supposed to do? Okay, we're getting another one of those in. We're going to get another Rise of the Dark Realms going down. Skrull's Hive. Did I play a land this turn? I don't think so, right? 
Perfect. We're going to do that one and uh, for that one. Herborg, sure. <laughs> I don't know. Now I need it all the way to the front, all the way to the front, all the way to the front, all the way to the front. All the way to the front, all the way to the front, all the way, all the way. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do three damage. I mean, I don't have the mana to win with swinging right now, and I have no more tokens. Hey, if it crashes, worth. Sect open to the sea, describe upkeep, raise a borrower for the Atraxa. Boom, got him. Nice. It'll still finish all the triggers. It'll just decline everything if my time actually runs out. What up, Surdy? Surdy, dirty, wordy, murdy, lurdy. Purdy. No! The current match has ended! Winner. Draw. See, at least this still counts as a win because it says winner. It says, it says, it says winner. I see it. Right there. I'm the winner. Winner. One of your friends has two computers with six screens for streaming. Yeah, it's... I, it's a pain in the ass to run two PCs for it. Uh, I was going to, but it would increase the overall power and getting a 4090 just made way more sense. Um, mainly, actually, I think I'll really discovery. Uh, getting a 4090 made more sense because I have access to AV1 now. Okay, that's good. Thrilling Discovery is great because we don't have to force discard.
We don't have to force the discard. It's not an additional cast. Yeah, see? I like that. A fight? And you think you can win? Drop it. They have counter spells though. Mm. You won't be outsmarting me. Please no counter spell. Please no counter spell. Please no counter spell. Please no counter spell. Please no hand hate and please no counter spell. Drop it. Please no counter spell. 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 I have all the planeswalkers talking so much louder. Beautiful. Beautiful. Atali in the front. <laughs> well i have i have three screens so the reason again we're going back to it the reason i got a 4090 is because i needed the extra power because i was actually running out of memory like video memory when i was streaming and recording because i record at 1440p so that the youtube videos can be way or way or way higher quality uh, but recording that 
and streaming at the same time was really, really, really demanding. Um, so I would have had to get a second PC to do a dual PC setup, but the 4090 or the whole 40 series has a new technology called AV1. It's a specific kind of encoder that YouTube uses for like everything. It's a Google specific encoder and it makes everything super efficient. And it took like a, let's say a 1440p video that was like five hours long or four hours long would be, dude, I don't even know, but it cut the size down by almost like tenfold, if not more, 20 fold. And the quality is even better and I can stream at a much higher quality as well, which is fantastic. It does everything. And so the quality of the video is higher and the file size is smaller. So it's faster to upload and download. And then it's better for my video editor to also edit. And then uh, he can also render it faster and upload it to YouTube faster. So there was like 2000 benefits to it. Whenever a legendary creature or whenever a creature you control dies, is it whenever a legendary literally just read it. So it's either three mana or one life and, or. But the best thing you can do for the channel is share the video with somebody you think you might like them. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.